Hi everyone, Westpac here from Absolute Charm and we have got a treat for you if you like beer. We're here with William Scripps who is the founder of All Stop Brewery here on 290 just east of Fredericksburg. So William, I've got a lot of questions for you. <laughs> you've got three beers out right now and you've been open since 2016. Correct. We just started 2016 brewing. We didn't have this side of the facility yet. What we wanted to do is introduce the beer first to the market and then slowly tie in the building and everything else we had going on at the moment. Wow, so how did you come up with this idea or why did you come up with this idea? Um, the idea was try to find and make uh, fresh German beer. Uh, that was something I wasn't able to find and I said, let's do it here. Uh, let's find a way to replicate everything done in Germany and then let's put a restaurant and a nice welcoming facility uh, that's never really been done tied in with a brewery before in this capacity. So it was one of those things I just saw a missing void in the market and I said, let's mm -hmm. go after it. I think it's going to be a good opportunity and so far it's been well received. Well, it was a, an extreme undertaking. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people in Texas alone have been looking and watching this building occur, being built yeah. and developed and then the beer comes out. So your opening, your grand opening is October 5th. Correct. Right it's around Oktoberfest. Right on a Friday during Oktoberfest weekend, so we expect everyone to be coming out for all events going on, so it's going to be fully packed in Fredericksburg. So and this place is massive. How many square feet is this building? Uh, we're looking at, well, on this side, probably close to about 40,000 square feet, all public space. Usable. Wow. So we have a banquet hall on the back side, we have a restaurant, we have a cellar down here with an entire lounge area, so that's all going to be able to seat ooh, close to about 800 people on a full rush day. So well, and your beer garden fun. out back yeah. is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. We're gonna be able to host, oh, a good seating of about 200. <laughs> and then adjacent to that is our uh, banquet hall with a private garden as well. So private if garden? If someone wants to have a wedding out in a private space or have a meal or whatever they like to do, we can introduce that as well. So it's a very versatile space as we like to say. Uh, and then of course, over here on the left-hand side, that's where the beer is made. Correct, right here's a nice viewing position where you get to see the entire brew process with the brewmasters and the lab techs all running through the whole process and something you can really interact with as you sit here, have your meal and actually see the brewery process. So it's a lot of fun. when you guys opened in 2016, that was mainly the production of the beers. How long of a process has it been to get to this point? Uh, a lot longer than I expected, um, over a year and a half more than uh, I would have anticipated, but no, right about, you know, six months behind schedule, but at the end of the day, uh, it was worth it. As you can see all the details, I mean, it, it took time. It definitely it does. Right. Yeah. The craftsmanship on this building is absolutely fantastic. Inlaid tiles with the logo. You've got not only one here, but down the hallway, which is mm -hmm. even bigger. Well, you're definitely offering some a variety here because here we are in 290, the wine tour mm -hmm. uh, bus station, you know, all along there but yet you've got the beer. Yeah, no, I said <laughs> we have also wine, but at the end of the day, it's a great place to stop by, have a meal, really just take in the whole day after enjoying a whole day of vineyards and museums. It's a nice place to just dial down, mm -hmm. relax, music, some food, and just be able to take in the hill country one last time. Well, William, we really appreciate your time, and we're gonna take a Thank tour you. around and look at things, but congratulations on Thank the place. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I gotta tell you, don't forget, October 5th is when this grand opening is going to occur. Mm -hmm. And you can come out here, check out the facility. Um, you can have weddings out here. Mm -hmm. You can have meetings, mm -hmm. all sorts of things. So it come be stay out, stay all weekend, find a place in town and come join us. Should and be drink beer. All week. Yeah, please, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Now we get to meet the brewmaster, which is Peter Kustler. Peter? Yeah. How long have you been a brewmaster? Since 1998. Was that I, here in the US or? No, I graduated in Germany and um, then I was already here for a year mm -hmm. um, and uh, graduated then in 98. Okay. And um, yeah, started working. In what part of Germany? Munich, Germany. So all the way from Munich, Germany to brew this fantastic beer. <laughs> so I gotta ask you, you've got all these wonderful 
devices around here. Yeah. What are they for? What are these things? I mean, are well, these actual vats for the beer and the hops and? Yes. Beer, no, but hops, yes. Hops. The first three behind me are our production brew house. That's uh, it's built by a German company, Rolex. And so you have a mash ton, a lot of ton, and the infamous uh, work kettle. Okay. In the back, uh, the last one. And the two behind us, behind those, are a second brew house. Okay. There's, it's a very hands-on old brew house. It was built in the 60s, came out of a Bavarian uh, brewery. And that's, uh, we're not using it yet. We're still in polishing it up and well, fixing it up. And, oh, it, it is beautiful. Why does, is there a reason why they need to be copper? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I was wondering it's that. It's very traditional. Traditional, and it, and it looks awesome. because It back, does look awesome. Back then, they, uh, when brewing started and so on, the first metal vessels that they could build yes. were made of copper because it has a wonderful heat transfer. It's very good for heat transfer and it's easy to maneuver it, uh, to, to move it, so you can make different shapes out of it. Well, we're right in the middle of his playground here and it's going to get even noisier because you're going to be doing bottling. Uh, that and what you hear right now is the centrifuge starting up. Okay, so you've got three beers right now. Explain I'll explain those. Well, the Kölsch is, um, it's a top fermented beer. It's our, right now, the one that it has the more bitter flavors in it. Okay. It's from the uh, original, from the town of Cologne. Okay. And um, for example, in Germany, if you call something a Kölsch, then it has to be made in Cologne. Then you you've got the it. Alt. Yeah. That, that comes from the town of Düsseldorf, that style, okay. which is about 30 miles away from Cologne. Okay. And um, that's more on the sweet side, it has a wonderful red hue to it. Okay. And uh, tastes a little bit more malty, less hoppy. And uh, yeah, those are typical. And then uh, you've got a stuff. third one that has a blue label. Which one is that? Yes. That is the. Oh, thank you. Straight out of oh, the Oh, that's fridge. nice and cold. <laughs> <laughs> that's the lager, that's the lager. Which, is, which is uh typical to Munich. That's, if you're in Munich and you go in a restaurant and you order a beer mm -hmm. and you say nothing else, that's what you get. Okay, awesome. Well, Peter, it's been a pleasure. Absolutely, Wes. And I, I, and, and I really appreciate the information you shared. Can we get a chance to look into one of these vats? What, sure. What's actually in there? Yeah, it's kind of, kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Now, for those of you who are interested in doing an event out here at Allstadt Brewery, we have Cass Witten, who is the event planner. Yep, I take care of all of the events and management here for Allstadt Brewery, and we want to make this an event destination where you can come, have a great beer, have some great food, excellent mm -hmm. service, and a beautiful surrounding. Well, you've got so many different different areas to eat, to drink, oh, and so forth here. We're right now, what do you call it, the Grand Hall? This is our Great Hall, the Great also hall. known as our Ballroom. We have many different names for it. Uh, right now it is Great Hall or the Ballroom. Mm -hmm. And we can hold about 180 people in here for whatever type of event you're looking for, be it a wedding, rehearsal dinner, a corporate holiday party, anything fun like that. And I love it how you have a display here of some mm -hmm. of the wear that is uh, will be at some of the parties or the events. Awesome. Most importantly, the Stein. Mm -hmm. The authentic German <laughs> Stein. Have to post with it at all times. Just make sure you don't break our glass. So can they go online and contact you? Absolutely. To find out what type of event or to schedule something? Absolutely. How, how detailed do you try to get with them? As detailed as they want. Oh, good. Some want a lot of help. Some don't want any help at all. And they are wanting to plan everything. So but now you've okay. been planning for how long? Oh my goodness, at least seven years minimum. So you're, this isn't your first rodeo? No, not at all. This yeah. is my first German rodeo. <laughs> awesome. Well, they're nipping and tucking everything around this whole entire facility. And they've got Cass here, who is definitely 
the person to contact if you're looking at doing some type of an event, a wedding, a birthday, a party, a business re rehearsal dinner, rehearsal dinner, holiday parties, corporate parties, anything fun like that. Mm -hmm. We have spaces that can accommodate everybody. Well, and what's so nice about it, it all flows really good because you've got the bar at the end of the end of the hall here. You've got the all the benches, and then out that side is what the ceremony garden. Ceremony garden. Mm -hmm. Out these doors is, is beer the beer garden. garden. Yep. So it's all tied in and to then where. The brewery, so it's just all fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lots of places to go. Cass, thank you so of much. Thank Get you. on out here and party.